All right, let's quickly go through the system so I can show you a little bit to make it easier for you. The page here, as you can see, is divided into several areas. Here we have the main menu, which will allow you to do several items. The second is we have navigation within the system, next page, back page, and a percent complete, which will tell you how many chapters I have completed. It is based upon chapters. Here we have instructional bu buttons, which we will cover. Here is the viewing system, and here is the timeline bar. Notice this timeline for this video is 14 minutes and 57 seconds. You must watch the entire 14 minutes and 57 seconds. You cannot watch one second less or you will get absolutely no credit for this chapter. The video will have a statement at the end. It says you have completed this chapter. Please click the next page button. All right, so watch the entire thing. To start the video, simply click right in the middle of the screen. Now, there's to stop the video, click in the middle of the screen again. Do not click up here. You will be taken out of our system into YouTube and again will not get credit for the video. So click in the middle to start. Click in the middle again to pause and you will keep track and you can literally just oh I want to get something to drink pause get up and come back all right now let's talk a little bit about the buttons first we have a map you can see right here I am in the Indiana broker course version 20 chapter 1 page 4 there is the chapter it's called introduction to real estate and there is the course, once again, Real Estate Broker, chap version 2020. The course map will list all of the chapters and all of the pages within that chapter. Notice that these ch pages have an underline on them. These pages do not. The underline means I have completed those pages and I can jump back to them to view it at any time I want. Now, I can click next page, or I can simply go to the course map and jump to a page that I have already completed. It will start automatically. Now. All right. Now, next page, I am going to take the quiz. Now, quizzes are something that are very similar in every chapter. You can take the quiz as many times as you like. So let's go through here and we're going to randomly pick. Notice that as I take a question and answer it, the color changes. If I decide I want to skip a question because maybe I don't know the answer, the color does not change, which will allow me at a later date to go back and visually see oh, which one I haven't completed and therefore I can complete it. I want to submit it for grading. It gives me the opportunity, oh, nope, want to go back. Or I can say yes, submit for grading. It will then give me my score. I scored 50% and then here is the answers. Now, this seems to be confusing, so let's cover something. The little man icon right here is your answer. The green icon is the correct answer. So, for example, in number one, I chose letter B. The correct answer is letter A. I missed this question. In question two, I chose the letter B, that's the man icon, and as you can tell by the green icon, that was in fact the correct answer. I got the correct answer in number three, as you can tell by the green and my choice. Number four I missed, here is the correct answer right here. My choice was up here, I therefore missed that. And you can see all the way through. Now. When you're done with the quiz, you can try it again. 
The thing you need to understand is one, here's the alert saying that the questions will be randomized, so they're going to be in a different order. Here is the quiz. Notice how they are darkened in because I have already taken it. I can literally change my answer if I want, and I can see what I put last time, or I can clear all of the answers, and I can start brand new with a clean slate and go back and answer questions again. Once I've answered a question, I can actually change it. I want to change it to there. Oh, wait, no, that's not right. No, wait, I want to go back to that one. And then I can literally go through all of the quiz again. There is a quiz at the end of every chapter, and there will be a quiz at the end of your book in every chapter. Submitted for grading, yes I do. Voila, I still got a 50. Now, in your course map, once you've done, you just move on to the next chapter, and it will start for you once again. All right. Well, Hit the center to pause. Hit the center to start. To today. You will see that this page is 14 minutes and 37, 36 seconds long. All right. Now, one other important note. When you get down to the test number one right here, that test is a one and done. You do not get the opportunity to either take the test again or do you not see the answers, all right? So when you take the test, you will have the ability to get a, see, I got a zero because I actually was not ready for the exam because I haven't done two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all right? When you get your test completed, you will not be able to see the answers. And that is so that you can take the test again should something happen. Now, one thing I want to talk about is the fact is that the exam is required to pass. You need a 75% average on the three exams. If you do not know how to calculate or know what an average is, please send me an email and I will discuss it. You do not fail if you get below a 75. It just means that you need to score some extra points on the next one so that the average is 75. And then on your third exam, you would get 75. That is a total of 225 points that is passing, all right? So on the three exams, you need a 75 average, not a 75 on each exam. Should you not get 225 points? Say you get 220. I can go through and reset one of your exams and let you take it again. That is why I cannot allow you to see the answers. So you could go back through and go, oh, I got a much better score, and that puts your total at higher than you need. That would be a 245, and away you go, all right? So please remember, 75 average, not a 75 on each exam. All right, if you have any other questions on how to operate the system, please let me know. I would be glad to help you. Uh, good luck, and I hope to see you and talk to you soon. Bye.